Hello and welcome to the 2024 Lenten season. And thank you for joining me for our daily meditations, which during this season will be focused specifically on our Lenten hymns, canticles, and music and psalms that we have available in the Episcopal Church. Now, the Lenten season officially begins today, Ash Wednesday, with a unique liturgy that is specifically designed for the day. The service itself is crafted around the reminder of our mortality. Now, the symbolic placing of ashes on the forehead sets the tone for the upcoming 40 days of Lent. Now, this year, we have a little bit of an unusual situation, don't we? The day of Ash Wednesday coincides with the same date as the secular Valentine's Day, which, of course, is a day of love. Now, this can, in turn, be for a way us carrying that love of Jesus out into all of humanity and taking it with us as we journey into the wilderness that we have ahead of us. Now, there are many elements, of course, that add to the theme of this particular season. There's repentance, there's reconciliation, and there's anticipation. Now, Advent season is also considered a time of waiting, but there's a different feel to it than there is to Lent. Lent seems to have a more somber tone to it. It's an opportunity for us to give up something or to take something new on. And what we give up or take on are things that somehow have impacted our attention either toward or away from God. So it's going to be something that will either distract us from our relationship with God or something that will reconnect and open up our relationship with, the, with God. Now, within the day's liturgy, we sing and say together a particular psalm, Psalm 51. We say it right after the imposition of ashes. So as we kneel together and we have the mark now on our forehead, we take an opportunity to say these words together. So I thought that this would be a really good place for us to start our daily meditations. And so take a deep breath. Settle into where you are seated or standing. And let's hear what the psalmist talks about in Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness. In your great compassion, blot out my offenses. Wash me through and through from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. And so you are justified when you speak and upright in your judgment. Indeed, I have been wicked from my birth, a sinner from my mother's womb. For behold, you look for truth deep within me and will make me understand wisdom secretly. Purge me from my sin and I shall be pure. Wash me and I shall be clean indeed. Make me hear of joy and gladness that the body you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. I shall teach your ways to the wicked. 
and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from death, O God, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness, O God of my salvation. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Had you desired it, I would have offered sacrifice, but you take no delight in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Be favorable and gracious to Zion and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with the appointed sacrifices, with burnt offerings and oblations. Then shall they offer young bullocks upon your altar. Tradition tells us that this psalm was attributed, like many of the psalms, to King David. And this one in particular was said to be written in response to his realization that he was living a sin-filled life. He was guilty of adultery, deception, even murder. And this psalm confesses the deepest of sins and pleads with God for grace, mercy, and forgiveness. And now as we prepare to continue the rest of our day of Ash Wednesday with a lot of things to contemplate around our mortality, I would offer a few other questions for you to ponder on. First off, the psalmist states that the traditional burnt offerings are not what God is looking for. Instead, God is looking for our troubled spirits and our broken, contrite hearts. So how do you offer yourself to God in times of difficulty? Next, Contemplate the intent of verse 11, which is, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. How might this idea impact your approach to the upcoming Lenten season? And finally, for this particular Lent, have you given up or taken something on? And if so, if you have chosen this discipline, how do you see it as potentially impacting your relationship with God? That's an awful lot to ponder for, so I'll leave you with that for the day. And until we meet again tomorrow, you take care, and may God continue to bless. <laughs>